If it's in your newsfeed, it's in the feed with Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. Had a rung uh, muck in uh, the UK. A 16-foot tree was chopped in half due to a dispute over the tree. Oh, it was God. sliced right down the middle after a pair of neighbors in their 70s couldn't come to an agreement over it. So now this half tree has become a landmark and everyone's showing up and taking pictures of the half tree. Man. Did the tree crazy. have a say? I know. How sad is that? It's like, I'm just growing. I don't know wow. about property rights. What are we doing? <laughs> uh, I, I guess like if one person wants to save the tree and one person doesn't. And if you're on the side that has the tree, like you're not really seeing the other side anyway. So I think it's okay. So it's going to die, right? Yeah. That's so sad. <laughs> the tree's definitely going to die. Man. But uh, alas, it was. Uh, it's going to be a cute little landmark on Google for a few days there. Uh, recent research by Biomed Central reveals that daily coffee consumption can decrease the risk of death by 60%. Researchers spent 13 years studying 10,000 adults. They found the potential health benefits of coffee. Hmm. You have it every day, don't you? Mm -hmm. Every single day. I have not had, I mean, I've had like a iced coffee slash like, uh, you know, what's the, uh, frappuccino. frappuccino. Mm -hmm. I've gotten the frappuccino, but I'm not a, I'm not a hot coffee drinker. Can't do it. Uh, Patrick wasn't either. He started drinking coffee maybe like less than 10 years ago, honestly. And I've been a coffee drinker forever. And he's like, I'm so tired. I have to stop the energy drinks. I'm like, try coffee. Put a ton of creamer in it. Yeah. God, it was creamer <laughs> coffee ratio, like 80, 20. <laughs> and, uh, but now straight black. He's a man. Wow. Yeah. Man, even he went black. Yeah. Even, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. Uh, okay. So there we go. So if you're, you're drinking coffee, you're going to live. Congratulations. Cheers. Yay. Here, here. Uh, here's for the people that aren't going to live. Do you take a multivitamin? Nope. Oh, well, the congratulations. You're also going to live, live forever. <laughs> Recent study by the National Cancer Institute in Maryland reveals that taking a daily multivitamins does not help people live longer and may actually increase the risk of early death. It increases nausea. Uh, they make me sick. I mean, I, I'm taking, I'm not taking a multivitamin. I'm taking them all separately. Yeah. <laughs> and it's awful every morning. Yeah. Um, uh, researchers analyzed data from 400,000 adults with no major long-term illnesses. They found a 4% higher mortality risk among multivitamin users. Hmm. Experts recommend, hey, maybe you just try being healthy. <laughs> right. <laughs> maybe the supplement's not the problem. Yeah. Maybe you're the problem. Uh, we go to Dublin, Ireland, a McDonald's employee there named Paulina. She was suing the company because she said she suffered a finger strain from continuously squirting sauces on burgers. Oh, gosh. I cannot. <laughs> it's so sad because she lost. She lost. She, she insisted a damages for the injury to her little pinky finger. Lawyer said squirting was excessive and demanding. What was, lawyer picked this up? I don't know. It was in the system for five years. Oh, my gosh. And she just lost. So, Paulina. I'm so sorry. You know, you can't even, like, pretend. You can't even be Dr. Evil for Halloween. God, sorry <laughs> just on your loss. Here we go. That's a repetitive uh, repetitive movement wow. injury. Uh, I, my middle finger strained from driving here. <laughs> <laughs> we go to Minnesota where a woman named Marissa was recently arrested for throwing a tarantula at a woman she claims was squatting in one of her homes. Oh, I kind of love it, actually. Yeah. The incident, which she referred to as an ode to the movie Home Alone, led to her being charged with misdemeanor assault. I mean, isn't that battery? If, you, if, if, if the tarantula hits the woman... I don't know. Did she hit? I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, despite the altercation, she still plans to run for county commissioner. Oh, in Lord. She's running. <laughs> I love this. That makes sense. Uh, the judge has ordered her and her housemate to stay apart. Marissa said, I mean, there is an element of humor to that movie. And at the end, what was I supposed to do? At the end of the day, Unhinged got her out of the house. So, like... I, yeah. if, it, if it worked, mm -hmm. great. You got I guess your house that's a win. Back. Yeah. Listen, whatever. It's a misdemeanor. It's fine. Right. Have you ever been convicted of any felonies? That's what it asks. <laughs> right. And, uh, so you should get You're jobs. Good. She'll yeah, be fine. Uh, finally, the Olympic Games are right around the corner. And, well, NBC's doing something. This drives me nuts. Al Michaels, legendary voice. Yeah. Fantastic. Yep. He is going to be doing, he's you know, allowed NBC to use his voice using AI. So he's not going to voice it, but his voice will be voicing the daily Olympic recap on Peacock. Daily update. Olympics start July 26th. He will be the one you'll mm -hmm. hear, but it won't be him saying it. How much do they pay him? 
It's going to be a lot. And I'm telling you, here's what's going to end up happening, okay? If you're sick of Ryan Seacrest, don't be. Because guess what? He's going to be around for absolutely forever. Mm -hmm. If you don't think that he's going to license his voice mm -hmm. to be on forever, he's going to. If you like, but okay, they come to you and they say, "Hey, we'll give you a hundred grand to you know use your voice, and you'll just be." It's got to be more than that because I feel like then once you give them the okay, then they can use it all the time, and then why would you need me? Yeah, all I know is a, all these hackers—they're you know getting the the car dealerships and stuff like. Hack the AI voices. I know. If you can hack the AI voices, we're in business.